Hi there, so this is Janice again at SweetVelocity.com and today I've got to load my motorcycle on my trailer and so I thought this was a great opportunity to share with all of my friends out there in Sweet Velocity world exactly how I do it and maybe yeah, along the way share a few tips there that hopefully will help you out as well because if you're like me it's a major like nerve-wracking experience because I don't want to dump my bike and this is one of those times when it's nice to have a man around, but if you don't, well, this is how I do it. So I've got my landscape trailer, and I'm just gonna drop the, the ranch down. And like all trailers, you know, might be a little different. One thing is the same. You're gonna have a trailer and a ramp, regardless of whether it's a landscape trailer or one designed just for motorcycles. But if you notice, this is the scary part right here, right? It's like when you're gonna ride the bike up you know, and you're trying to work the clutch and everything, and I'll show you when I'm actually going up the trailer. It's when you get to this part right here, like you don't wanna let off the clutch too much and like launch forward, you don't wanna stall it, and then maybe like, cause you're tippy, you don't wanna fall over. You notice there's like, the bump is because of this angle here. Well, if you have any kind of variation in incline, like, you know, in your driveway or wherever you're loading, um, you have an advantage there versus something flat. So if you look like this way here, the driveway kind of goes up. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make it a little bit less uh, of an angle here with the ramp so that basically it's less scary. All right, so I'm going to put this back up and I'm going to turn around and show you that. Okay, so I've moved the truck and my plan was actually to be a little bit further down the driveway but it turns out that it really drops off really good right here and so if you notice I dropped the ramp down and if you remember it was more of an angle before when I was at the flatter part of the driveway but here now it's not going to be as scary because it's not as much of a bump so I'm going to go grab the bike and I'm going to show you driving it on and then tying it down. Be right back. On the trailer. Now, of course, I'm gonna put my kickstand down, and now I'll show you how I tie it down. But I gotta get my my straps. So, stand by. I'll be right back. Okay. So I got my ratchet straps out, and I just want to talk about those for a minute before actually how I uh, secure the bike. And <clears throat> there are many different kinds of ratchet straps. I've got lots, and. I want to show you the crappy ones first, like what not to use and why not to use it. So here's one that literally I've like uh, reused over and over again for things that I don't care much about. And you notice it's like all rusty and got a knot here and you know anything that has a knot in it, this is like the weakest point. Um, if something's going to break, it'll happen right there. And notice it's got some wear here from God knows what it was rubbing against. And so I do not recommend using that kind of strap. So that one really should be tossed. And then I've got like a newer one. <clears throat> it's one of my newer straps. And what's great about this is if you look real close, see the rubber like coating here is a lot nicer and smoother. So I'm definitely going to use this one. There's nothing falling apart on this or shredding or anything like that. <clears throat> um, and then there's one, here's one that shows like some of the rubber coating stuff coming off. So now my bike isn't like the most expensive thing out there. Um, you know, if it doesn't really matter how much your bike costs, but if you're one of those folks that, you know, put a lot of time, effort, and energy in having your bike look really, really nice with lots of accessories, then you can actually get like little straps that go around the handlebar, and then you can strap 
your ratchet strap to that and then you know to your trailer um, my bike's not that kind of bike I really don't mind if uh, my strap is not all that perfect but what you do is in this case let's see what you do is not have everything all tangled up like I do but uh, I just throw this stuff in the back of my truck and so I really don't care much about it until I need it and then I fight with it all right so I'm going to put this hook around the handlebar kind of like so the metal part so that it's not like gonna bind up on anything so I'm gonna twist it around this way I like to put the strap on there so that if something loosens up it can't just fall off and I'm purposefully on the side with the kickstand first and I'll tell you why in just a second. Actually, I'm going to get all these extra straps out of the way because it's just a mess and I don't like to do it. Not twisted. I've got a nice little tie down spot right here and I'm going to hook around it so if it loosens up it doesn't come off completely. And then I'm going to just ratchet it a little bit. Not a lot on this side. Just about that much. See it's still slack here? Because as I ratchet down the other side, the bike is going to tip that way. And that's why I'm starting on the kickstand side. So if I started on the other side, the bike is just going to fall that way because there's nothing to keep it um, from, you know, just going. So, okay, I'm going to go on the other side of the trailer. All right, now I'm going to tie down this side. So, my hook around handlebar in a good spot where it's not catching on anything. All right. And then I've got some really long ratchet straps here. I probably could afford to get a couple shorter ones for this purpose, but you get the idea. This strap here. Now this side, I'm, I've pulled it taut and now I'm going to ratchet it. And if you watch the bike, see it coming over? And the other side, the other strap is going to tighten up. And I'm going to actually make it a little bit tighter because I can kind of tell how it's going. I'm going to go two more breaks on this a little bit more. Yeah. So as you notice, what's going to happen here too. Okay, zoom in over here. <laughs> look, at the, look at what the shocks are doing. They're compressing. You see the shocks compressing right here? So imagine when you're driving down the road right you're hitting bumps and stuff motorcycle thinks it's driving and it, it's gonna the shocks are gonna do what shocks do so I'm cranking down pretty good here so that as I'm driving down the road and the bike it's like it doesn't it's not gonna really want to go anywhere I've got enough on it I'm actually gonna go a little bit more put some muscle into it okay so if you notice this bike's not going anywhere the shocks aren't gonna compress anymore and I'm going to take all this loose stuff here and just keep it from flying around. I just tie it like this. And that's good. Da -da -da. <clears throat> and let's just check this side. Yeah, we're good. I'm leaning just a little insy bit, no big deal. And then when I get to where I'm going, I'll show you how to undo it. I am going to put a strap around the back. Some people say it's... The thing to do to put another strap around the back tire like so i don't actually think i need to but those of you who have done this before share your comments and what works for you what doesn't and why and share with the rest of us um i like to hear what what other people do and stuff like that and uh i'm always learning myself so same thing with uh, i've been told that it's a good idea to leave the bike in neutral when I thought that keeping it like in gear would be a good idea but actually with it wiggling around being in gear might actually wear um, wear on your parts rather than keeping it in neutral so different strokes for different folks I guess while well, I'm still fighting with my ratchet strap did I get it right this time? I, I'm always doing it weird okay let's see doesn't matter so long as you can crank it. I'm not going to go too much on this. I just, just enough. That's good enough for me. And 
that's it. The bike is secured. I'm going to tip up the back and then whew, head out of here. So I will show you in a few hours, which will seem like a nanosecond to you, <laughs> taking the bike off so that it doesn't go flying one way or another. Okay, until then. Hi again. So now I've gotten to where I'm going and I'm going to take the bike off the trailer. So first things first, I'm going to drop the ramp down and then I'm going to undo those ratchet straps. So this is why I love my landscape trailer. It's just so easy. Use it for everything. Okay, so I'm going to undo this back one first and like Earlier, I told you that I wasn't even sure I really needed this. Um, you know, if I had to slam the brakes while I'm trailering, I already have a problem <laughs> bigger than the motorcycle behind me. But, um, okay, better safe than sorry, I suppose. Let's move that to the side. Okay, so now I'm going to undo these straps opposite of how I put them on. I'm going to start on the other side so that as I loosen it, the bike is, because the pressure here, the bike is going to want to lean this way. And I'm going to try and do it carefully. Okay. So, now, if you remember, I put a lot of tension on this thing. I cranked on this. So, this thing, it's, it's tight. So, when I loosen this up, it's going to want to just fly that way, which is why the kickstand side is second. So as it wants to go that way, the bike will lean on the kickstand. So I'm gonna try and loosen this up carefully. I'm actually put my hand up here, see? Just loosened it up a little bit, there we go. And now, I'll come back over here and I'll do this side a little bit. And, should, there we go. i will just undo it like that. Notice I left the other strap kind of on there just in case, because, just in case. <laughs> and, oh, it's a little too tight, but that's okay if I just lean it over. That. Okay, so I'm unhooked. And now I'm just going to back it up very carefully, because I'm going downhill. So I got my hand on the brake, so I could just carefully ease it off. And just don't go any faster then you feel comfortable. Could easily get away from you. So, here we go. Down. Yeah, if you're a little nervous, just go slow. Make sure that you've got some sure footing. That's why I like that my feet can both solidly touch. And uh, yeah, this is the scary part right here. Just kind of let it go back. I'm like tippy-toeing it now. Woo, here we go. All right. Yay. Get the bike off the trailer. Okay, so that's it. That's all there is to it. And, uh, well, hey, now it's bike week and I'm going for a ride. So 